<laughs> hello, hello. Welcome to Coffee Craft, where my stream deck decided to not work for a minute there. Sorry about that. Uh, just at last uh, late start to the day, and ever it just kind of cascaded through everything else. So, uh, hello, welcome to Coffee Craft. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we put together a little to-do list, tried to do some troubleshooting. Uh, you'll notice that um, one of these is missing an item because I did. <laughs> Hello, medic. Because I did put in that micro crop farm over here. I do not like the way it looks. Uh, it doesn't help that it's a three-wide build and a six-wide space, so there's no... There's no way to, uh, there's no way to center it, but, um, uh, it works. It works well, and that's the important part, isn't it? So I got sea pickles. I, I still would like to, uh, I would like to find a way to automate this so I could push a, or at least semi-automate it so I could, like, push a button and all the logs get pushed forward and back, um, thus breaking all these guys, but, uh. That's that's not as pressing a priority because uh, that is at least done. But uh, what do we have on the list? Um, <clears throat> finished troubleshooting storage. I have <laughs> I've been working so hard. I checked every hopper in the top. I I checked I I've checked everything I can think of to check, and for whatever reason, this. This box right here, stuff will not stack in. I can leave that empty and run something through and it'll drop in the empty space, but it will not, for whatever reason, stack. But so far it's only that box, so I don't know. I, I'm gonna keep periodically trying to work on that, but that is not the top priority for today. I need to uh, add access to the storage redstone and I might work on that right now, because uh, I, I've got to I gotta put a door there I need to push this wall back more because I need to be able to get to the back side of all that there without having to go all the way around the front and then all the way back here so yeah I do I do need to poke that wall that way a few more blocks how many, how many more how many more blocks do I need to make it? Um, because I might be able to knock that one off the to-do list real, uh, well, partially quick. Um, eh, I might be able to do this right now real quick. All right. Hang on. Let's see. You, uh, got time or energy to join us today, Medic? You're more than welcome to. that even with that roof up there actually why am I doing this the hard way all right do I really want to push that up two more blocks no because that is yeah that's what I thought that, that <laughs> that's my roof right there all right uh, and I do not feel like raising the roof so um, <clears throat> That's going to be the height of this section here. Honestly, I don't even need to dig it out that far. I just want to. Um, because. Raise the. Thank you, Rast. Raise the roof. There's already there's already been enough. Uh, uh, I don't even know how to say it. Um, ah, nice. Good. It's been too long. I know why. I understand. Don't don't hear what I'm not saying. Uh, just miss you. That's all. Um, uh, on Cord Killers today. Well, technically it was yesterday. I was listening to it today. Uh, they were having a rather interesting discussion about some problems with the way TV and music run. Uh, and 
their conclusion is that some of the weirdness is more institutional like we we this is we started doing it this way for a reason and then it just became the way things are done and tom's example <laughs> uh was about how he'd have when he was a radio DJ he would have to write a sharpie on the 45s with cold open or no cold open to indicate which ones would allow him to do the proper intro um if you don't know what a 45 is kids ask your parents it is not a caliber um well not in this context anyway uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm sure you've heard about it in song lyrics, though, again, I, yeah, and, and then he goes, and, and then I think it was Brian goes, oh yeah, like men at work. Um, <laughs> if you're not familiar with the band men at work, kids, ask your parents. Hello, Beach Duck. I hope you were there for that one. Men at work was one of Beach Duck's favorite bands back in the day. Might still be. I don't know. Hopefully she'll uh, chime in on that one. And yeah, that, that was just one of those, like, I, I feel more than marginally old type moments. Because men at work and 45s and uh, yeah. you remember what your favorite 45 was? <laughs> or, or did you prefer the, the, the 33 and a third? What, Men at Work was the reason you tried Vegemite? How, how did I never know this? It, which, uh... Is it like one of the two songs anybody that's not f overly familiar with the band will recognize? Or uh, a different one? Is it because they come from a land down under? Also, I have not yet tried Vegemite. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure that I will. There's also a party of me that would kind of like to go to Australia. And then I remember that that's the same place that has the video of the spider dragging a rat up the wall. And I, uh, I, I begin to, I begin to, I begin to question life choices and life desires, because seriously, that's where that's where a rat is, is or a spider is dragging a rat up a wall, and um, yeah. How do I want to do this? I think I'll leave this platform up here as it is, and I'll just put some brick down. Which I, I think that is the that is part of the lyrics of the same song. I'm now that we're talking about it, I am drawing the worst blank of all, and, and just I, I don't. Uh, oh, oh! Before I forget, before, well, since my a by my uh, eighty eighty whatever adult brain is, is moving in a million different directions. Um, <laughs> Leo over at uh, Frog Pants, uh, Frog Pants, Frog Leap Studios. Frog Pants is a different studio. They they do uh, podcasts. Um, 
Leo at uh, Frog Leap Studios did a metal cover of Men at Work. And, and it is everything, everything you would expect. It is glorious. Of course, I, that man has done so many different metal covers. It, it's not even funny. Uh, and most of them are pretty good. Uh, there, there's some times that he gets into the growly vocals that it's just not my jam. Um, <clears throat> you know, I appreciate the artistry that goes into what he's doing, but I don't, I'm not a fan of the growly vocals. Um, but I mean, other people enjoy that. So that, you know, that's their thing. Yeah, Frog, Frog Leap is amazing. I love the stuff that they do. Right, I don't want this running right now, so let's uh, put that on pause. And I'm 90% sure I got a placeholder for Iron Ore in here somewhere. I, I have managed to find a home for most things. I haven't gone through the redstone yet, other than a little couple of spots for dust and repeaters and, you know, leftovers from a, my uh, project box. Um, I forgot to lock that down too and name it because uh, a couple of these boxes aren't in. Yeah, uh, so I got some spot for iron ores and coal ores and gold ores and I'm not sure what else is going to go in the valuables box but uh, that might be where a few, <laughs> a few of those other things go. Uh, let's... All right. I'm not going to call that done, but I'll call that progress made. Because uh, I, mm, until I get the door, I don't know, I don't know what I want to do there beyond I really would like a player detector switch instead of having a button or torch key or, you know, anything, anything that requires something like that. I would rather have uh, just you walk up to the corner and the door opens all Star Trek like. And same, same for the reverse too. Now that I think about it, so I'll have to come back. I'll have to revisit that door, but that at least allows me to get around the redstone, which is one of the more important parts. Um. Oh yeah, I still got to do the dining room walls at the castle. Um. I, man, I don't even. If I could even at least figure out the palette, that would be that would be helpful. Like, there's a part of me that's tempted to do some other pattern with the strip logs, like I've done in here. And like I did down in this side over here. Uh, I'm even thinking a little closer to this style here, where it's long two, three block wide boards of different lumbers. And instead of doing a... a three-tone palette just do two like maybe just the the dark oak and spruce or uh or even just oak and spruce or not nah, uh no i want maybe maybe birch and oak i don't know so but something along those lines um so i just i need a i need a palette and I know I want to do the the dark dark oak wainscoting. Um, I just don't know what else. I still need to finish the sugarcane farms. That that really does need to. Oh, uh, and when Arcadius gets on proper, um, I I got a I got a couple of questions to ask him because uh, I I want to I want to go over a couple of things that we mentioned way back in the beginning of the season that he might not remember we talked about. Uh, I still got to do the Piglin Trading Hall. I need to figure out what I need to gather for that, so that, that might not be today. I need a Concrete Maker of Awesomeness for no other reason than to have a Concrete Maker of Awesomeness. Uh, the Enderman Farm, I, I put that on the list because I've never been built one and I would like to build one 
but I'm just not sold on actually needing it. Between having a bunch of clerics to trade with and once the Piglin trading hall gets done, Ender Pearl's coming as a part of that. I'm not sure I'm not sure the Enderman farm is strictly necessary. I mean the gold farm provides all the XP you need and then some. So it's not like you need the Enderman farm for XP unless you want an XP source that doesn't require you to to move into a different dimension. So you'd have something that is there in the end while you're in the end. Yeah, maybe I will do that. That that mountain path for for the back door. That that might actually end up being today's today's project because that that is about all I got the focus for right now. Um, I haven't found a gas farm that doesn't require wither roses. Like ever since wither roses came out. That's all you find for ghast farms. And I just... Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I guess to do a ghast farm, we might have to do a wither rose farm. But, oh, and, and I... Th Although the squid farm will provide more than enough black ink. And really, I just... Uh, squid farms have gotten so easy in uh, 1.18 because of the axolotls. You, you just need a pool that will generate uh, <laughs> more squid than anything else, and the axolotls will uh, do their thing and be the cutest little predator and uh, take care of the squid for you. Although it's my understanding that the uh, squid spawn rate is going to be nerfed in the near future. Um, oh yeah, and automating your cocoa. And I need to get a phantom farm going. Uh, I think we might end up doing the same one as season as season one. I'd have to go back and, and look at the design I did for that, but why am I going out that door? I need to go this way. Um, and I don't know. I feel like I need more rooms. This isn't big enough. I don't know what's going in here in the main room, because I, originally I was going to try to get storage in the main room, but the redstone for every design I looked at took up way too much space, and I'm not doing a manual storage. Um, so, I don't know. I'll have to find... I'll have to figure something out for the main, main floor here. And I'm still tempted to put a couple of protein farms in the wall there. Uh, but until I do that, I do need to get the path together because trying to get, trying to get cows and sheep up this path, it, mm, uh, that's, that's not going to be fun. Nobody's going to find that fun. Least of all me or the cows. So I need, I, I guess that is, uh... That might end up being... Do I have my leather boots on? Okay, good. Um, I've got the... <laughs> I've got the powdered snow marked off with a texture pack because I, I got so tired uh, of running into problems. And I just wanted to clear it out. Um, and then I keep forgetting that I put the texture pack in. Um, I was getting ready to head off somewhere to do something. And it was not talk about this path. Oh, um. <laughs> oh, and I still got to turn that skeleton spawner into uh, into a uh, into an extra backup skeleton farm. Uh, no, over over here, I need to rebuild a little bit of this. So I need to get that from the starter hut to properly encasing this room in a roof um, and I need to move the the non elytra entry from next to that shaft where you almost inevitably pick up a whole bunch of drops you did not want uh, <coughs> and get a get a proper a proper way up uh, uh, whether it be some more vines of some sort or another or is that just a that's probably just a rendering something or other but I want to put a little more floor in 
to uh, to give us a little more space and remove the need to have that as a hut and let you uh, let you be able to actually walk around. Uh, partly so I can get back here for the redstone whenever I need to. And partly so you should theoretically be able to AFK anywhere in here without issue. And then once I get the roof in, I'll know where to put the, the phantom farm on top, season season one style most likely. Unless somebody's come up with a better design. Um, which reminds me. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're doing okay. We, we got, what, uh, one, two, three, four, five, ten. Almost fifteen double chests of, uh, sugar cane. Eh. Yeah. Uh, that, that'll be okay. I'm surprised this hasn't filled up, although I don't think anybody's been over here to let this run either. Um, because I know... Oh, I thought we were... I thought the bones were empty, but apparently not. I knew the arrows were full. That I don't think anybody's pulling those arrows. I <laughs> if there's one thing we 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 don't have a pressing need for, it's arrows. We we have so many arrows. And I don't know that I've stuck around long enough to replenish the rotten flesh. Yeah. And the rotten flesh is just down to that last double chest and a bit. Because uh, I pillaged that for trading with the uh, with my uh, clerics. So, I saw Arcadius join in. Hopefully he can head this way. Because this is where the thing we talked about a long time ago. In the beginning of a season. See, that's what I'm talking about. The... You get too close to this. I, I think I'm just going to go ahead and add that extra column up each of these corners so that way it's harder for you to accidentally pick up stuff you didn't want. And, and that's going to have to change. I wonder if I should go get like a uh, concrete or terracotta and, and style this as a landing bay. Like get a uh, get a get an armor stand dude with a couple of a couple of glow rods, um, yeah, like like he's flagging you in for a landing. <laughs> no, that that wouldn't be quite be the right aesthetic for over here, uh, especially given what I'm going to ask Arcadius for when he gets here. This will be a hmm. This will definitely make for an interesting, interesting challenge. There's a sound I like here, and I wouldn't mind setting up a drone farm, given how frequently they spawn over here. I mean, this is a river biome. There shouldn't be that many drowned. I, I, yeah. And I think it was over here. No, that's plains. There's one little corner that was river. Yeah, so just making a a little a little tank over here for in the few mm, that might be too narrow. Um, although I mean, uh, yeah, now we're in the river biome, so maybe 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 just setting up the squid farm right around here. Although, with with the river being as big as it is. That, no, that won't be a good idea. No, 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 no. Never mind. Never mind. Unless... Unless I built it up in the sky? Is this part over the river as well? Forest, river, oh. Uh, okay. I could build the squid farm up here. 
so that while you're AFK here for the mob drops, you could also get black ink. Well, the ink sacks, but, you know, ultimately that's going to be for black ink. Now I got this random bone in my inventory. Arcadians. Should, should I do like you do to other people? Hello. some of these caves a little bit better too as we got that guy down there although I mean we technically don't have to as long as you're AFK up there you should be good Never mind. I'm not even worried about this. All right. Well, while we're, I keep forgetting that that random diamond armored horse is over here, and I almost feel the need to go find some way to bring him into <laughs> into the center up there. Because this poor guy, this poor guy. I mean, just kind of abandoned out here in the woods. I really think that's where I asked source, but uh, if I remember it, she says not. And I wouldn't mind swapping out a bunch of that powdered snow for actual snow and try to make the, the general mountain traversable. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a temporary setup. Uh don't uh, don't worry about that. I needed I needed mushrooms, so uh that keeps the brown mushrooms from growing too tall for me to harvest. And, uh, yeah. A little bit of mushroom, a little bit of bone meal. And on we went. Matter of fact, that's where I'll drop that random bone. Right there. I also need to figure out what, uh... What else do I put in here? Because... So we've got the, the entry hall. We got four rooms off to each side. We've got the next hall, which I need a name for. We got storage over there. We're going to have farms or something over there. And then we got the uh, the basement of testing. No, let me, uh, I got to get rid of these cakes. I bought them so I could level up a couple of villagers. and uh, I got the basement of testing, which I might hollow out some more so I could get a little more a little more structure, a little less haphazard. Um, I don't know if I want to do this floor and then another floor below it because I don't want uh, I don't want this floating box of redstone for the door, maybe, I think. I'm not sure now that I say that out loud. And I'll let that accumulate a little bit more. I, I would like to make uh, some more candles. I get those used. Um, I won't. I would love to actually find a more central location for this style farm and maybe redo the redstone so that way it's uh, the redstone's a little more hidden. Uh, I've seen a couple of different couple of different options. Hello, beach duck. We were talking about men at work earlier. That, 
was one of your favorite bands, was it not? objectives to get rid of the powdered snow and try to keep some semblance of the original landscape and then I think I want to cut this a three wide path that meanders somewhat uh, there used to be powdered snow there I forgot that I didn't have leather boots on when I flew back in and got myself stuck in the powdered snow and uh, yeah yeah, I definitely want this to be three wide. I want this to be a gradual incline because I don't want you to have to jump. So that way, if you're leading animals or whatnot, it's easy to bring them up the side of the path. Um, and I stopped here because I got, I got tired. Um, I still need to figure out where... How I want to wind it down to the plains, and then I don't know where it'll go from there, but uh, it will go somewhere from there. Alright, let me go get uh, stone, snow, and a shovel, and maybe some dirt. And I'll take care of the... I'll take care of the, um, oh, thank you. I'll take care of the powdered snow first. Unless Arcadius is ready to meet up for, uh, more netherite so I can get my shovels upgraded so I get my fortune axe upgraded and so I get these these two guys upgraded <coughs> there, there, there's a part of me that almost wonders what would it be like if we could uh, netherite our shears no netherite shears really crank up the durability because like what are, we, what are we talking about the difference between uh another right axe is 2031 durability diamond axe is 1561 so we're talking about you know an extra 500 uses so what could you do with an <laughs> with, with a little bit more out of your shears than the 238 you get from uh unbreaking three I don't know. Weird things, I wonder. Yeah. I just think you're weird, but, you know. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> how you doing? Good, how are you? Eh, I'm working on it. Let's, uh, let's head over to the mob farm real quick. Uh, why? Hmm? Hmm? Me? What? Yeah, you... So we can revisit a discussion we had way back at the beginning of the season. <clears throat> I'm thinking I might have a easy issue with this one. What are we talking about? <laughs> um, at one point, when when, of course it's raining now. When do you, when do you want some nice and quiet to have a good discussion? When it's raining. Um, when we built, initially started the planning and the building of the mob farm, somebody said that they would be willing to hide it in the shell of a floating island. No? 
I think you got the wrong crafter for that one. I'll gladly help whoever's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, the 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 bottom would only go down to the the level of the the redstone down here, maybe like one or two blocks below that. But even even the platform that I'm standing on right now could go. Uh, the scaffolding that's going down into the water that can definitely go. Uh, I'm tired of having this ugly, ugly yellow scaffolding in the middle of the ocean. Middle of the ocean. <laughs> Sorry, middle of the pond. And then just have, uh, I, I don't know where you would set up the land and then make the, make the topper part of a, part of a castle of some sort. Yeah, I don't, uh oh, that didn't sound good. I don't think you good. could. Could what? I don't think you can make it a, the topper part of a castle. I think you'd have to enclose the whole thing. Oh yeah, no, you, you, you definitely have to put some stuff around it. That that part wasn't wasn't my main concern. Uh, just you know, making sure that we got room to bring that up. Um, and I keep I keep wondering if I really ought to go put some industrial kelp farmage down there as well. I mean, it's very tempting. I mean, to make this look decent, though, this thing's going to have to be huge. Like, we're talking like the size of the lake. Well, yeah, that was part of the design, was to look like it had ripped out and the lake formed from the island getting levitated or whatever. Uh, I, I was not chief lord. That means you're going to probably need to move that portal system there. Uh, you think so? Easily, dude. Look, look how close that is down here. Unless we're hiding it inside the mountain, quote unquote. The the basically, it's gonna have to end up being an upside down mountain. I mean, if you come down here to where I am, t take a look at it from down here. Uh, where you at? Right over here on the other side of the portals, on the side oh. of the mountain. Okay. No, I didn't. I didn't see you through the rain. Yeah. This will give you a better scale of what we're looking at than being on it is going to give you. Ah. So to hide that from top to bottom, unless it's going to be like a, a spike or something that's just been like ripped out, it's going to be... Massive. <laughs> that could be a little more spike-like. I'm not opposed to that. Sorry, I just noticed there was a some unlit areas over there, and didn't want a friend coming out to say hello. Uh oh, <laughs> that didn't sound good. Okay. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, maybe make it just a little, maybe just a little wider. Like, what, 20? <clears throat> what would 20 blocks wider be anyway? Uh, let me go, let me go find a, uh, a stone so I can do this in bottom slabs and we don't have to worry about weird stuff popping up. So yeah, we, we've got a one, one major project at a time. <laughs> you still have a giant castle that's not finished yet. True. True. There is that too. So as far as as far as decorational projects go, uh, let, let's finish one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> ah, where's the fun in that? 
uh, completionism. That's where the fun is. <laughs> aren't you, aren't you the one usually right. giving me trouble about that? <laughs> aren't you the one usually telling me, ah, it just... It doesn't... I don't know what you're talking about. Uh-huh. I think I'm having amnesia again. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell me how that goes. <laughs> well... Best I can say is start collecting the dirt and stone now, because uh, I don't yeah. think we have to worry about collecting stone. That's for sure. I, I'm pretty sure we got enough stone left over over at uh, at the castle, much less my own private stock to to f do this a solid chunk of a solid chunk with its own little cave system. Oh, that could say be good. Ha have little bits of like dripstone cave looking stuff poking out here and there. <laughs> well, I was going to use dripstone cave falling off the bottom, but that's yeah, you know that's different. Um, no, I I really don't think we have enough stone to be completely honest, and I know we don't have enough uh, dirt. Uh, no yeah, way. dirt, dirt, we might be a little shy of, but uh, we. I, I want you to go back down here and take another look at this from a distance. <laughs> We got enough stone. There, no way. Yeah, way. You, you start in on a project and you'll see how fast it disappears. Because don't forget, it's not like you're going to do... Oh, okay. Hello, game. Where's Medic? There we go. Where's Medic? Uh, <laughs> don't, don't forget, A, how much extra stone we have, and B, it's not like you're going to do the whole thing in solid stone anyway. You're going to mix in tough and andesite and maybe some of the other fancy stones. Mm. And, and so it's not like it's going to be a solid chunk of stone. Most of it's going to be stone. <laughs> a good percentage of it. I don't know. It's doable. Don't get me wrong. It's obviously doable. We can do it. Well, oh yeah, we can do it, and we will do it. We will do it <laughs> after the castle's done. <laughs> well, then, uh, have you managed all that you need to do on the castle? Am I the one slacking? I think the. Bedroom's the only thing that's left as far as direct uh, assignments have gone for me so far. Now, I believe we're going to start getting assigned extra rooms beyond that. Because um, everyone's got their one room plus a bedroom. And I yeah. think we're all going to start getting an in one additional room. And I think that should almost I be the entire castle. I definitely need to redo that bed. I don't like that. And I need a little more decoration up top here. But otherwise, I think I think this is about done. I mean, there, there's a part of me that would love to throw a few more suits of armor hanging on in the closet. Just, you know, because it would look cool. But uh, I don't, I don't want to... <laughs> We're going to be framey enough with all the hoppers without adding armor stands to the armor stands to it. <laughs> I might have to take those head blocks away to, uh, back to back to base too. You, you like that? Eh, no, I'm, I think the bed's the only thing in here that I I would actually oh, point at. Oh yeah, no, that that bed's changing. I. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, outside of that, everything else looks good. I I have been tempted since uh, these guys are are just a little high to knock out one of these blocks in the middle and throw a hidden barrel there. Yeah, I think that goes directly to my room though, doesn't it? Uh, it depends on if you built out the wall or if you're using the... Well, I haven't done yeah. anything in here yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see I see that. I was getting ready to say, so that would look like... Oh, uh, hmm. I mean, 
If you put the wall where it was intended to go, you would cover up the other side of the barrel. Un unless you wanted sure. to put a couch on the other side, too. And, uh, you know, that that's just the place where all, you know, the random remotes and things fall under there. Like, I ought to, I ought to, I ought to put a <laughs> torch and some dust bunnies in there and, and, and call it flashlight. And <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Uh, but is it wrong? Like, like uh, do do I go get a get a flint and steel? You know, name it Zippo and put it put it in in between the couch cushions back there. <laughs> yeah, you know, fork. More and importantly, spoon. there's this room downstairs you need to finish. Yeah, I just I, I just need the uh, I need to figure out the wall palette. And then, then I can get going. Um, well, you've kind of hurt yourself on the wall pallet. This floor is so busy. You've got to have basically a blank wall. Well, that's why I was thinking of going with the logs and just doing doing the, the strip logs across. You know, maybe a, a two-tone and have them like two or three wide so that way they, they look like uh, large boards. Hi, friend. We, ha we have a wandering... A wandering salesman. Yeah, he showed up a little while ago. And, and don't forget that this th this is going to be a window anyway. Uh, this wall here, I okay. I was originally thinking a diorama of some sort, but you're right with the floor being the way it is, a simple window's better. Yeah. You know, yeah. May maybe like a, a little light gray around the edges to you know yeah. kind of give it a little shadow or shading or something like that, but. With everything you've done here so far, the the best thing that I see in my head, if I were going to have to do anything to this room, I see bulky furniture and simple walls. Because dainty <laughs> furniture is not going to look right in here on that floor. Uh, dainty furniture is not going to look right in this room size anyway. Like, like, <laughs> this is not a room for dainty furniture. Well, it is if you were making it like a grand like dining hall and you had like 5,000 tables set up. It'd be yeah. fine. But um, with this floor palette, you, big, bigger is better as far as furniture goes. And then all your walls are, are pretty much going to need to be you know, simplistic. Because you want the eye to be drawn to the floor. You don't really want to deter from that. Uh, simplistic I am. Now the real uh, question becomes, uh -huh. what do you do with the door? Because <laughs> um, this, is, this is what's holding me up. Yeah, yeah. I, I was... Yeah, because you need one in, one out. So I'd probably put a a pillar in the middle and maybe just a one regular door, a one regular door. But what I would also like to do is... You could also just do two doors next to each other. It just needs to be two doors. Uh, okay, okay. That I thought they had to be separated. Okay. The, no. Then in that case, I'd probably pull pull both of these into whatever the transition needs to be and just do a two a double door here. But I would make sure that do, does it have to be like closed off or can it just be an open doorway? It's the kitchen. You don't want that open to the public. I mean, that's that's not how that works. <laughs> you don't want people looking in here at the dead pig on the table. Come on. Is there a chicken over here? Yes, there is. Come on. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, that that's glorious. Uh, that, oh, bravo. Yeah. I didn't do that. Medic did. Oh, still, bravo. We, we need to get like two or three more of those guys floating around, but silence no, them. I, Na name tags, silence them. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't want, uh, I don't want chickens. I, I'd like to have like a, a cow, like right here. 
I'm pretty sure that can be arranged too. I, I saw a cow flying over the mountain on the way in, so uh, you know. Right here. <laughs> Maybe a pig somewhere. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Hi, you get a pig right here. Yeah, but that's the cooked one. We need another one. <laughs> we need his brother for tomorrow's dinner. Okay, but but anyway, get, getting back to it, I would definitely, because if I remember right, the original goal was to have a bunch of villagers in there for for trading purposes and some villagers in here. Uh, so I was thinking about doing like I did at the mountain base and doing the double carpet thing to keep them from pathfinding across. No, not this time. No. No, nah. the, the kitchen doors are closed. Always closed. The, then I guess we're going to have to do iron doors and a button. Uh, the the wandering health inspector will have a thing to say or two about that. I already <laughs> have this guy in the corner over here. Yeah. I'm getting points off for that guy, so, I mean... Well, I mean, look, with, 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 a, with as, with as uh, lenient as they are at knocking off points, uh, I, I, think we could, I think we could manage the door. <laughs> I've heard some stories from people that worked in uh, food services that, uh, yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, uh, drains are disgusting and clogged, and I mean, you know, we're, we're getting points off as it is. It's not good. Yeah, you know where that chest goes. Yeah, yeah, I know. That goes down to the storage. Yeah. Uh, I've you been throw shulkers in it. I've been down there moving moving some of the stuff from the temporary storage to the permanent. Uh, I just need uh, a little guidance as to where some of the other stuff's going to go. Like if there's a particular theme or order to... This is the way we waste our rockets, waste our rockets, waste our rockets. If there's a theme to the order of things as they go. I mean, it definitely seems like there is an intended order, so I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna like, uh, okay, so now we're ready to move the deep slate. Um, where's that going? Yeah, we'll just throw it in the next one. And, and then, you know, like, oh man, I had, uh, I had plans, you know. Which I totally understand. Please do not hear what I'm not saying. <laughs> but I definitely, I definitely moved a couple of these over and I think we got a couple, yeah, we got, we got some miscellany here. Like, I didn't know where to put the flint from the gravel that I moved over, so I just kind of tossed it in there for the time being. Um, I guess I can put my random couple of pieces of paper. Uh, which, uh, we're just missing the thingy banner, right? The 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 one that you make with a notch apple, except it's not called a notch apple anymore. Now I'm getting like B dubs and calling stuff by their ancient name. Enchanted uh, apple. Yeah, an enchanted golden apple. Yep. What do we have one in there? Like, no, oh. no, no. I thought you were looking in there like you had one. Oh, um, over in your your mailbox. Mm -hmm. You got two new compasses, one that points to the uh, lodestone on the nether roof, and one that points to the lodestone in the mountain. Sweet. Yeah. Two yeah, I, I put one of those in everybody's box, because, uh, <laughs> that. yeah, I, I get a travel box with those in them, because, uh, yeah. You know how it goes when you're running around the nether trying to do stuff, and all of a sudden it's like, uh, oh, um, I was supposed to find a way home. Huh. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think there was a spot for the polished over there yet, although I kind of forgot that I left uh, one or two of the regular ones in. Cobbled. Cobbled deep slate. I'm still trying to figure out why we got some regular deep slate because I don't, I don't, I didn't think we were using that for anything. Oh, oh yeah, and that's right. We got three more boxes of stone. <laughs> what the regular deep slate? Yeah. yeah. Come to me. I'm in the chapel. Oh, is this in the the spoiler walled area? Uh, 
Not the chapel, I'm sorry, the library. Okay. Ooh, no, don't hit the wall. Nah, too late for that. Remember, you're on delay. <laughs> Oh, okay. So she's been using... Oh, yeah. That is the regular deep slate. Okay. Yeah, this is looking beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is looking beautiful. Yep, so keep your contraptions away from this area unless you want uh, <laughs> accidental discharges. Oh, no. I don't think anything I'm building borders on this anyway. I, I just didn't realize that she was using the regular deep slate for that. Otherwise, it would have harvested a little more, more the last time I was out. Yeah, I don't know how much more she needs. I know she's got the balcony to do also yeah. up there. Because I, I prototyped that TNT launcher over here somewhere. Um, over in that uh, mine shaft by the geode. It's, it's this one that we don't find enough of for... Oh, the deep slate diamond? Yeah. I mean, ostensibly, there's a lot of it if you, you know, if you watch certain hermits. And that <laughs> one. And the lapis. Oh, the lapis? Is the other hard one. Oh, no. I, I found a bunch of that. Where Where's her boxing? I think that's the next floor. Is it up there or is it in this room over here? Uh, I know it was somewhere nearby. I don't know where it is. We haven't even finished and we're already getting lost. There it is. Because, uh, yeah, I, from, from uh, various mining expeditions, there, there's like a stack and three more deep slate diamond ore. There's a bunch more deep okay. slate redstone. There's 46 deep slate lapis. Um, tons of deep slate redstone. It hurt my soul not to mine like that. looks like it's the copper she's low on then. Yeah, which is kind of surprising given how plentiful it is. Yeah. Weird. And, uh, okay. where was it? Somewhere over here. Yeah. I'm going to keep an eye out for her, I guess. I dropped off, like, a, a couple of shulkers full of, uh, cobbled deep slate. I think I just started throwing stuff into random boxes because I, I, I had brought over more that she had storage over here for. Yeah, so there's a bunch more cobbled deep slate and, uh, the problem was I wasn't deep enough to get a lot of the deep slate, uh, deep slate copper. I was down, down here, testing out the, uh, testing out the machine and stopping to dig out the ores as I ran across them. Hello, zombie. After watching Iskel's video, I really am tempted to try to find a heart of the sea and flood this one. Because <laughs> that's a whole lot easier than doing the parkour to, you know, go from one to another. All I have is silk touch, so I didn't want to... I don't think we need the, the silk touch crystals. That's all I have on me. Yeah. Silk touch. Here we go. The shaft. Should look familiar, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's what I've been doing. That's how I got her all that cobble deep slate and all those ores. I needed some deep slate myself, and I wanted to test this machine out, so... Uh, and away it went. Oh, except I picked up stuff in between each one. Waste not, want not. Oh, hang on. Here's some of that uh, iron. <laughs> and there's a spider nearby? Of course, I don't have any torches on me, so... As you can see, I've been trying to keep things very well lit. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Torch spam much, I mean. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> <Yeah>. Maybe. <laughs> you 
you to start planting crystals somewhere? Just need eight. Eight? Yep, I got them. Uh oh. Uh, that seems like an awfully specific number. Mm -hmm. Should I be worried? Nah. Nah. No, not. Okay. Well, back to your regularly scheduled Minecrafting. Yeah. <laughs> now that we have a game plan. Or game plan adjacent, but yeah. Uh, so we've got a lot of resources to gather, and we have one pretty project to finish first. So. Yeah. And preferably, before Should... I do the next pretty project, I'd like to have a, a centralized storage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That that would that would be that would be kind of nice. Um, I also brought a bunch of uh, end stone to help somebody out with their project, and that's been deposited over over where where it goes. Before I head back, is there anything I needed to grab out of here? I feel like there was something I needed to remember to grab out of here. Oh yeah, these guys. Um, nah, I might come back for those later. And oh, those were four flower pots in case I needed more. Yeah. Let's get back to this and let's start uh let's start clearing out some of this uh this powdered snow. There's a uh, trailer out for the boys season uh, season three. Yep, I saw that it's supposed to be releasing in June. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's supposed to be releasing fairly soon. Yeah, which uh, um, I'm cautiously optimistic. Uh, it seems like they they kind of gave away one of the big reveals of the season in the trailer. Like. That that whole uh, if you take this, you become a soup for twenty four hours. Like that that seems like the kind of thing you you don't want to you don't want to you know put right out in the trailer. Maybe or am I wrong about that? Yeah, there's gotta be. A, if you're gonna put that in the trailer, <laughs> how how sideways is that fact gonna go? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. How like, like, how many side effects is that? How many? Oh, you, you mean like bad are, things come along with that? Are are, are <laughs> we are we gonna find out that you know it drives you quietly insane or something like that? Quietly, no. Well, no okay. Let, let's quietly. be honest. There there <laughs> there's nothing about the boys that is quiet. So you know, I I, re I retract yeah, that portion yeah. of the statement. Yeah, well, there's that. Um. I think the the poster for season three already gives away something. Um, it's uh, if you haven't seen it, it shows um, the the evil Superman and the leader of the uh, the boys, uh, both with their eyes glowing in semi you know oh yeah dark colored screens. Um, well, yeah, but that was also shown in the trailer, too. Yeah, well, I haven't seen the trailer, so I wouldn't. No, yeah. Um, so that alone tells me that something was going to happen. I just didn't know what at the, at that point. Gotcha, so. yeah. 
honestly, of any of them, he wasn't the one I thought was going to end up with powers. I thought it was going to be Mr. Uh, scrawny. Oh. With, uh, con- <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Underconfidence was going to suddenly become a soup. Yep, that's that was uh that was what I was thinking. Yeah, I I don't I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to say no. That that could happen, but uh I don't I don't know. That that just doesn't strike me as uh the higher the list of possibles like of all the characters and the boys who's going to go ahead and gobble that pill to get you know go full on ends justify the means um i don't i don't think it's ends justify the means i mean no there there are a few things in this world and you have to think about what are the most powerful motivators in the world Mm -hmm. greed money Love. Love is the most powerful motivator in the world. Love will make you do a lot of crazy junk. No, so you're not going faith, hope, and love? <laughs> mm, no. No. Uh, hope would require people to have hope. and You know. <laughs> if, if we had a, a Superman evil guy running around, I don't know how much hope I'd have. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, Reyest, I'm going to pretend I didn't see chat <laughs> for the sake of Arcadius. Uh, I, I'm just going to quietly, uh, just logged on. Oh, where did I have that slab before? I had to have had it somewhere. So, yeah, I don't remember if he and the girl were still together at the end of the second season? It's been a little while since I watched it. Uh, Maybe you should binge that before season three starts. Oh, well, wait, of course we should binge that before season three starts. Come on now. So, yeah, I don't uh, I don't remember if they're still together or an item or I, what their I'm disposition is. Like, 90% sure they are? Well, I know she saves him at the end of, well, both seasons, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was getting her to say like <laughs> that. That was not that was not exactly a one time. Uh, we're talking about the boys. the The trailer for season three dropped, and some rampant speculation, especially in light of some uh, some material that I really thought they would have uh, they they would have held in reserve until uh, until later. I don't think they would. We already knew that it came from Majar. We we knew that. Oh no 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 no! But I mean, having having a a twenty four hour pill, you know, that part I didn't expect them to to like out and out. You know, take this and you're a soup for twenty four hours. Bye now. I mean, I guess in retrospect, uh, I I would have figured they would have been working on contingency plans in case Homelander, you know. In case of a, an actual Homelander scenario, like, you know, this dude crazy. Well, I mean, the whole time they've been trying to uh, militarize it. So, yeah, if you want superheroes for your military, you've got to have a way to do that. <laughs> but not permanently, because then there's no return profits. Well, you can't, you know, yeah. control them also. and That would be horrible. Um, Would it now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't so, say. That would be yeah. horrible, huh? Yeah, yeah. Look, look how Homelander turned out. I mean, you know. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, true. And, and there is that aspect of it, too, because how, how much of that is why Homelander is the way he is? Like, what are you going to do to him? Seriously. Uh, whereas if it's, uh, if it's only a 24 hour gig because you, you took the, the super sauce, um, <laughs> you, you still have to worry about the repercussions of your actions because when you're done, when it wears off, it, you know, wears, it wore off and, uh, mm. bad things may await you. So, 
so yeah, that is, that is a good point rest. Yes, yeah, so you can mark it on your calendar that I said you had a good point. I don't even know what I'm doing over here. I, I'm trying to I'm trying to get rid of this stuff. But <laughs> thanks. <laughs> stone in a minute. I'm trying to remember what other movies they were talking about, too. Because uh, I kind of drifted out of focus during spoiler in time. The, the instrument I was working on did not really allow me to split my focus as well as some of the other repairs. Just, it still cracks me up that Men at Work was uh, the go-to example. Uh, uh, oh yeah, that's right. Now we're getting to the end of <laughs> the end of winter. I wonder, is that, uh, is that the natural end of that? Like, if I just don't fill those in with, uh... shovel. sure that I want this to start moving up from there. Jebba knows what time it is. And this is why I keep running out of rockets. I'm gonna tap a button with a rocket in my hand. Alright, I'm 
okay with that the way it is. Uh, Oh, just, uh, just feed the Jabba. It doesn't usually show up that bad. Alright, be right back. Or maybe I won't, because the, the buttons aren't working for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> 